guys, Carlos Thomas here, um, getting ready for an arm workout. Uh, today, we're going to do a little bit of back as well. Um, we're just hitting our off season probably about three more weeks until we start turning it up. Um, just last week, I met with my coach, Cash, out in Houston. We did some training, and then uh, we're going to meet up again at the Arnold Classic in about two weeks, and uh, we're going to get some more training in, and then from there, we're going to turn up with the off season. Uh, so, arm training on the menu for today, but before I go, I want to get together some supplements. I like to use pre-workout and intra-workout. So for my intro, I like to do the Amino Tour, EAEs, one scoop here. And then the combo I like to do right here is the Shredder Bowl Fire Pre with the Nitrox. This is the pre-workout, this is the pump. So if you guys are ever wondering why my arms are so crazy pumped, it's because I'm taking this. So, boom. One scoop of that. And then one scoop of this. So, I'm gonna get this down, guys, and then I'll show you what the arm workout looks like. Peace. All right guys, so first exercise is tricep rope push down. Uh, rep range is eight to 12. And we're gonna try to keep a three second eccentric on each rep. Um, and once we hit our third set, we're gonna do a drop set here. Um, and then we're gonna go to failure. And then we're gonna hit a uh, 15 second rest. And then hit it again. So, three sets, eight to 12 reps, three second eccentric. On the last set, we'll do a drop set. Rest 15 seconds, and then go again. Uh, keeping the same weight. So guys, the keys on the drop is to make sure that, you know, even if you hit uh, failure, try to keep um, the three second eccentric. So if you have to take a pause, you know, come back at it, hit the three second eccentric again. Um, so that's what we're going to do here, guys. set here. Um, after we hit this third set, we're going to do the drop set. Um, and like I said, we're going to try to keep the three second eccentric during the drop set as much as possible. But if you feel as if you can't complete um, the amount of reps that you're, you're trying to hit, um, you know, then you can kind of scrap the three second eccentric and just keep that constant tension on it. So. So second tricep movement we have is uh, the lion tricep extension. Um, I like to vary these. Sometimes I like to do an overhead type of extension off of the cable or I'll use like the machine. But today we're gonna use dumbbells, uh, get a little unilateral work in, and we're gonna do the lion tricep extension here. So rep range is gonna stay pretty consistent with last time, eight to 12. And we're gonna do a three second extension. Again, keep the time and attention. Um, weight isn't that crazy, but uh, again, it's uh, just about making the weight feel heavy and uh, lifting with a lot of intent. So. Again guys, these is spending time in the lengthening position a bit. Um, so that's why I don't really go too heavy. So I like to get a good three second eccentric and then I'll do a slight pause at the, at the bottom. Uh, get a nice stretch in the lengthening position and then squeeze in the concentric. So remember guys, control the eccentric, slight pause, good stretch, 
and then squeeze through the concentric, the, the concentric. Excuse me. Uh, we have the first working set of tricep dips here on the uh, dip machine. Uh, we're going to do a three second eccentric and we're going to make sure um, that we're hitting a little bit more volume here. So 12 to 15 reps. Um, again, keep that three second eccentric and really hitting that long head of the tricep. Last tricep movement is the uh, cable kickback here. I like to do it off of the seated row machine, um, just because I feel like the tension is a lot greater. With dumbbells, you'll definitely all you have is gravity to work against. So when you're doing the cable kickbacks, you know you're working against constant tension of the cable. And the theme of today, the theme of like my training, guys, is I like to keep that time under tension. You know, constant tension on the muscle and uh, really tax it without having to use a lot of load. Of course, the load is important, um, but you know, you have to have intent as well as intensity, right? So, let's get going. Keep the constant tension on the muscle here. That's why I love doing the cable kickback. So rep range, I like keep the volume a little bit higher again, maybe like 12, 15. So guys, Started in uh, biceps now, and we have uh, preacher curls. Um, one of my favorite exercises. I usually do a preacher curl machine, but uh, this gym doesn't have it, so uh, we're gonna do the dumbbell preacher curl, single arm, and the rep range will be from eight to ten. Uh, again, three second eccentric, and we're gonna do a nice little squeeze at the top, um, and then back down. So warming up right now, guys. Got to get myself a little bit loosened up. Not as young as I used to be. This and spider curls are, you know, just the stretch you get in the bicep. Um, so people always ask me like, okay, how to get your arms big, all these things like that. Um, and I have to say like, the key is I don't go crazy with the weight. You know, I keep a lot of constant tension on my arm movements. Um, you know, I really focus on the stretch and the uh, squeeze of the motion of the movement. And, you know, just try to get the most out of it uh, with the, uh, as much weight as I can without having to. Uh, go too crazy and use a lot of body English. So, guys, remember that when you're doing something like this, uh, trying to work on your arm exercises, you know, intent, execution, as well as intensity. You know, you want to make sure that you're executing uh, properly and bringing uh, some form of intensity, whether that's, you know, time or detention, drop sets, um, pressure sets, something like that. But you want to make sure um, that you're utilizing both and not just swaying to one spectrum 
or the other. Triceps and biceps. Um, I'm gonna do two exercises for that, but um, we'll save that one for later. So to recap, uh, we started off with the tricep push downs, um, you know, getting a good control on the eccentric, and then doing a drop set, adding an intensifier, and then we moved on and we did the lying tricep extensions. Again, uh, three second eccentric, getting nice spending, nice time in the lengthening position, and then uh, squeezing through the uh, concentric. So we move from there to the dip machines, um, three second eccentric, a little bit more volume, 12 to 15. Um, and then from there we finished off with the cable kickbacks. Love that, keeping constant tension on the triceps uh, versus using a dumbbell. And then for biceps, we finished off with, uh, we started with preacher curls, um, spending a nice time and getting in the length position, three second eccentric, squeeze the top. Um, there's a thing going on. Uh, we then we moved over to um, a superset for incline uh, dumbbell curls. Um, again, uh, not coming straight down, but kind of coming away from the body, getting a good lengthening of the bicep. Um, we did those and we superseted those with uh, dumbbell hammer curls. Um, getting a good time uh, stretch, getting a good eccentric, and then a good concentric through those movements. Um, and then that was it for biceps, guys. So I'm going to finish off my back here. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.